everybody and welcome back to It's Sarah's Life. On today's video, I'm actually going to show you guys my asthma slash allergy routine. Um, I am on puffers and I'm also on reacting. And I wanted to show you guys like, like how to take things apart and how to like clean it and stuff like that. So sit tight because this video is not going to be that long. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tell you guys the stuff that I'm on. I'm on reactin, allergies, um, citrazine hydrochloride, 10 milligram tablets. This is what the tablets look like. And this is what it looks like on the back. And what I literally do is I take one of these in the morning. And one of these in the night because in the night I am literally coughing my lungs out and I'm literally like stuffed up and everything like that so this is what gets me through the night <clears throat> and I'm sorry my voice is a little going right now but you know what it suits like on how I feel right now like as soon as the heat rises the pollen and all the allergens and everything that causes my asthma to literally you know start up again literally the, the heat does it. the heat like cooks everything or something like that <clears throat> so my voice always tends to go and literally I feel like not doing this little video but I was like you know what I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a real life so I am on the Ventolin and it's the Subbutyl Sulfate Ventilation Aerosol. It's the Ventolin HFA. This is my rescue puffer. And it comes like this in like a little like canister. And it's metal and it's a bronchilator. And it comes in 200 doses. So this is what it looks like on the front and the back and stuff. And it comes in a well, your puffer dispenser, I call this. And what you do is, well, when you buy it, or if you get insurance, like I do, you do not have to pay for it. Some people have to pay like 80% for their insurance, and other people have to pay like, you know, certain different types of insurance have different types of coverage. So, I uh, first got on the Ventolin back when I was 17 years old because I got diagnosed with asthma a little later in life <clears throat> and what happened is I was literally um, coughing a lot I felt like someone was like leaning like literally on my chest and I could not breathe I could not do anything like great for like my breathing so I ended up going to the doctor and this is when I lived in Carbonier and the doctor gave me a Ventolin puffer and it's normally 20 to 20 to 22 dollars here in Canada I do not know what it is down in the States so if you guys live in the States please tell me how much a Ventolin costs without your insurance coverage please that'll be a little bit of homework for you guys so what I do is I'm actually going to show you how I'm going to I have to take my puffers so I'm actually going to show you guys how I take them with it but first I want to get through like each puffer so this is my Ventolin okay so coming on to the orange one it is a steroid puffer it's a flovent and it is got a little steer like a quarter steroid for oral insulation <coughs> and it is like it's a little stronger the Ventolin I use it up to three to four times a day the Flovent um, I use twice a day so this is the same thing as the blue one you take your like lid off or whatever and I'll show you this now in a minute when I get to the chamber <clears throat> sorry I keep clearing my voice it's not like that I'm sick it's the allergies are driving me up the wall and my voice is going so this kind of suits perfectly fine for this video so this one is orange and it like it's a much smaller one <clears throat> because of course like this got more like doses in it but it has 200 doses and this one has 250 
<clears throat> no, this one has 120 liter doses, so I take two doses a day. So, so this does me about two months, a month and a half, two months. And sometimes I miss a dose and I either redose or something like that, like if it doesn't feel good. So 120 divided by two is 60. So this does about two months if you're careful. And this, it got 200 meter doses. So if I'm supposed to take this, I could take it up to eight times daily. But I take it up to four times because when I take this, I take two doses of this. So what I do is in the morning, I take a dose of this and two doses of this to get me started. And then I put some Reactin into my body and I sit in the bed for about 20, 30 minutes before, you know, of the day or whatever. And um, I, I just like let it all like kick in before I start my day because quite frankly, I'm not a well person. A lot of people are like, oh, well, you're 26 years old. You should have no problems with like everything like that. But my immune system is really low and blood work is the proof of that. And so I'm like, I catch colds easily. I get sick easily. I like during April and half of May, I was in, oh, well, not this bit. This is a whole new bit guys. And you've seen that in the last vlog, but, um, I was like on the mattress on the floor for like a month and a half and I was totally sick like I was not feeling good and sometimes like I'm like I randomly burn up like last night for example it was about like 9 30 10 o'clock I was almost ready to go to bed for the night and I started to burn up and I go and I check my temperature and I'm not burning up on the temperature and the thermometer I'm not reading it's like my outside of my whole body is literally burning up so I need to check that with the doctor. If anybody else out there actually has like the same symptoms, like no temperature, like reading on the thermometer and burning up like on your face and stuff like that, please let me know in the comment section below. That way maybe then we can compare notes or something like that. So that is my puffers and my reactant. So what happened is I went to my doctor last Thursday it was one of those weird like doctor's appointments but you know every doctor's appointment is not gonna go like the same way and I asked her could I get on the ch aero chamber or I called it the ventilator I did a wrong name so I um, asked her could I get on the aero chamber or the ventilator because I was finding like taking these like sucking them in like that was like making me like shaky and not that great so she said okay sure like let's try it out or whatever and i've got this a week and i love it so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys how to take apart this and i'm going to show you guys how to put it back together and then i'm going to show you guys how i take my puffers with it seems you know i had to take my puffers again right now and it only makes sense that i do my puffers on a video instead of like pretending to take them because I don't want to do that who wants to pretend so the arrow chamber comes with your mouthpiece and the piece where you put your puffer on the inside I'm actually gonna try and move you guys in sorry you guys are probably not gonna see that great of me there you go and I'm hoping you guys can see me because I have the Canon PowerShot Elf 170 HS or IS IS and um, it doesn't have any like way of me knowing if I can see you guys or whatnot, so I apologize if this gets weird sometimes. But I got you guys moved in now so you guys can see a little better. I know I can zoom in, but it's better to take the whole camera in. So the arrow chamber plus the flow view view. It got cat fur on it. My cat is lying in my blan my, my my blanket in my bed. There you go. That's better. Eh got a little piece where your puffer goes and it got a little piece where your mouth goes and then you open it up like this and it got like where you suck in like like that but you don't actually do that because it whistles if you actually suck in a little too hard so in order to clean it I'm going to show you guys I'm actually got this clean already I cleaned it probably two days ago so if you guys want a whole instructional video on how to clean your puffers and your aero chamber, please leave it in the comment section below. I can do like a part two and I can show you how I clean my puffers. So just leave that in the comment section below. But the aero chamber flow 
plus flow view a lot of people say that it should just it's just for kids but you know what adults use it too and adults use it to help them breathe the same way a child would so and mostly children they have one with a mask so it's like this with the mask and it helps them breathe a little better so I'm gonna show you guys how to take this apart put together and then take my puffers so in order to clean it or to take it apart to clean it or if you want to like just take it apart just to look at it you take the back off just like sliding out and then you take this part and you go like this and it comes in three parts I don't know if you should take this part off but I've looked on the instructional video and it's, it doesn't show that you're taking that part off but you probably could if you wanted to and it comes in three parts it comes like mouthpiece you can see it up close the chamber part actually actual chamber part it's like a little you can actually put your finger through it and see it's like a little it's nothing in there like at all and the back of her like with the little whistler thing inside so in order to put it back together you basically go and you see those these little two little nicks and you see where like this little topper part is you go and you align you do well your words this way you align this with this and you go like that and then you know what this is just plastic it's not like rub not rubber it it's like rubber it's not like hard plastic like the rest of the chamber is so it's like for it's a little place where your puffers go and then you just take this and you line it up with like th like this and then you go like this and it shouldn't come out and then you take this little piece and you put it back on so right now I'm going to show you guys how to use the, the puffers in your little arrow chamber so I'm going to start off with my steroid one because that's really the most important one that I need to take so what you're going to do you're going to shake it up about 10 seconds so 10 9 8 7 six five four three two one and you're going to get that extra little shake you're going to take this part off you're actually going to take this part this little cap right here stick it to the side or you can hold it in your hand but i'm going to stick it on the side for now you're going to take your arrow chamber and still shake it up a little bit because you're you're moving it around you're going to see this little hole you're going to take this and put it in through here and you should just snug it on and see it's not going to go anywhere and you're going to take your mouthpiece you're going to put it to the bottom a lot of people i see have it dangling but i'm going to put it like this to the bottom that way it's out of the way then you're going to take your whole mouth and you're going to put it over your mouthpiece and you're not going to bite down you're just going to rest your lips on it and then you're going to then what you're going to do is you're going to spray once in here with your mouthpiece on and then breathe maybe three times and then you should have it in so I'm going to show you that. So shake it up again. Remember to shake it. Take your cap off. Stick it in the back. Put your mouth like this and spray. So here we go. And you want to like make sure there's no air in your lungs before you do this. And you see how I hold up my breath? That's a little dizzy. Ooh, it makes you dizzy a little bit sometimes. See how I just hold up my breath for that 10, maybe 10 to 15 seconds? Well then, um, that's just to get it all in. So when you're done with your puffer, you want to take your cap and you want to take your actual puffer and stick it back on. There you go. Nextly, okay, if you were to finish up this puffer, already and you never had another one just for argument's sake you would just go in there and just put it away but i have two puffers now i'm not going to put a puffer in and if you breathe a little too long you're going to get a whistling sound or if you breathe a little too heavy so i'm going to show you what it sounds like when you breathe a little too heavy before i take the other one so i can get the other one just settled in my lungs before i actually take the other one so when you breathe a little too heavy there's a whistling sound and you're gonna hear this
Do you hear that? Whoa, that makes you really dizzy. If you breathe a little too hard in with your puffer, the whistling sound, it actually is like your indicator. Okay, Sarah, you're breathing a little too heavier. We got to go a little more lighter with the breathing. And there, um, that way then it just t tells you basically how like your breathing really is going. So I'm going to show you what to do with this one. It's basically the same thing. You're going to go on repeat. You're going to shake your puffer 10 seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to continue shaking a little bit. You're going to take your cap off like the one in the beginning or the, the orange one. You're going to take this and you're going to stick it in the back of her. It's not going anywhere because that plastic little rubber rim actually protects the puffer and keeps it in. So you're going to want to take the lid off again for your math piece and you're going to go like this. You're going to shake it another maybe 60 or 6 probably more seconds because where you just put the puffer in or whatever and you want it. Now this one I have to take two breaths. So I'm going to show you how to take two breaths instead of the one breath. So you're going to want to spray down, breathe in, take your puffer out. So just hold on. And then you're going to want to take it out again. Shake it up again because shaking is your best friend right now. And you're going to shake, 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 shake Sonora or something like that. I don't know. You're going to put it back into the bomb of her, they would say. I'm a Newfoundlander, so I have slang for every little thing. And then you're going to go on and do that again. Now, did you hear that little whistle? When I took the second puff in, I puffed in a little too hard. So I did like adjust my breathing. Then you're just gonna wanna close this up again like that. This will be fine for a couple of days. And what I do with my puffers is our bed has like two like little bookshelves with like little cupboards in it. It's so cute. So Sometimes in the middle of the night, I do need my rescue because lately I've been getting up in the middle of the night coughing and coughing, coughing, coughing is not good while you're an asthmatic. That could lead to you having like an asthma attack or something like that. So what I do is I put my chamber and my two puffers and my reactant in that little bookcase and it has some Tylenol and some cough drops and it also has my birth control pills too because I kind of take it all together sometimes but today I've decided that I'd show you guys this little nifty trick thing and whatever so there you have it guys oh one more thing if you notice like a little blue thing moving That is just the show of the airflow. That means that it's working and there is airflow going in and out because there's like a little whole thing right here that helps you suck in air. Because just say for argument's sake, this was clogged up by your puffer and this was like, this little vent was clogged up. You really can't get much air. So this actually helps aid the air and it shows airflow. So that's what that is. So that is just about it. Um, my thing is, is here's a question for you guys. Are any of you guys asthmatics? And if you guys are, do you guys use the aero chamber? Do you guys use Ventolin? And do you guys use the orange flowvent puffer? And have you guys ever tried reacting? Um, this is not a sponsored video, but I will be leaving some links down below for the Asthma Foundation or Asthma Society or something like that down below. Because if you have asthma, you can join like a little thing and you can get little email re like reminders for your puffer or like you can get like little email 
like email you can get stuff out in the mail too like it just like little help like helpers type of thing like to say if like you're having an asthma attack or something and like it just helps you like you know a little bit on how like your asthma and stuff works so I'm gonna be leaving some links down below check them out check out my last video um, it was just a random vlog um, this video right now marks the 300th vlog sit down video type of thing in my channel so I'm very excited I'm I'm so excited to actually have 300 videos on this channel it's like a good milestone and by the time Christmas comes it's probably gonna be another 300 or maybe less than that I don't know I'm gonna try to get two videos up a week so thank you guys so much for watching my voice seems to come back a little bit probably from the help of my puffers because I was like having a like, hard time with my chest anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this little instructional video and if you guys have asthma leave it down below and if you use any of the same products that I use for my breathing and allergies and asthma and then please list it down below and maybe like we can become like asthma buddies like how we could doing and stuff like that and also you can follow me on Instagram snapchat Google Plus I actually have a Facebook page for this channel so you guys can check that out and give that a like so thank you guys again so much for watching I will see you guys in my next video that'll be 301 videos on my channel and I will see you guys soon adios amigos bye so I wanted to show you guys that little like drawer where I actually put my puffers to in like this little bonus clip at the end so here's the covers and my nitrous is always there my like little chargers or whatever and this is where I keep like a little my little drug stash in the nighttime because it's more easier accessible than having to get up out of bed so like I said I have some cough drops which sort of helps every now and then and then I have some Tylenol and some ibuprofen because you never know when you're gonna have like a headache obviously my birth control pill guys like that's just something everybody who don't want to get pregnant should be on and then I put my reactant in there like this and then I stick my puffers in here like so and then like so so this is what I do and then like close up the covers and then in the middle of the night when you are coughing like you're having the coughing fits it is much easier to grab and access your puffers or your medication and one other thing I always do is sleep with a fan on it is like the joy and you can probably not hear me right now because I think the microphone for this camera is in the front but I always have like a fan and I'm gonna turn it off for a minute and I always clean it like always have your fans clean because that way then the dust does not spread or scatter anywhere like when this stops for a minute you see I'm soon gonna have to clean this fan so do that when you do your what do you call it your chamber for your puffer I suggest clean your fan as well so that was just a little bonus clip thanks so much for watching and have a great night or a great day or whatever it is that you're watching okay 